my name is Ellie Mabry and I'm a high performance coach for US Soccer. So a high performance coach essentially looks after the physical management of players. So that would encompass strength and conditioning, that would encompass nutrition, hydration, recovery protocols, sleep management, travel management. So really taking care of everything that could affect their physical performance and, and really managing those areas to make sure that if it is recovery, that's the most optimal. If it's training prescription, are we getting our loads right? Are we getting the exposure we need to certain demands of the games? Are we training those elements to help them perform? So essentially the, the physical realm would, would be the, the main focus of my job. I study sports science and materials technology with the intention of going to work for a company like Nike. I really wanted to work in performance apparel design, um, which I ended up doing. So I did my undergrad at Birmingham University in England, the University of Birmingham. And then I went to Amsterdam for a year and worked for Nike. It was a great experience, but I soon learned that I wanted to be more applied uh, in, in sports. So I came back to England and did my master's in exercise physiology. And at that time, I started to get some some part-time work and some applied work uh, in, in sports science. So I started uh, work at Birmingham City Ladies, uh, started with their youth teams and that then progressed to working with their, their women's team in the Pro League at the time. Um, so I did that for five or six years and it was, it was awesome, um, but it was hard to make a living from it at that point. So I was, on, I was on the paramedic journey, that was going great, and then I had a call from America, uh, from US Soccer, um, and it was basically for the opportunity to come out and work for US Soccer as a sports scientist, physical performance coach with the youth teams. So I came, I came out to America, uh, end of 2015, um, thought I would do maybe a year or two, really get some good experience and, and head back across the pond. That um, obviously turned into four years now, so I've been with the Federation four years and obviously I've progressed from kind of overseeing the youth teams and now kind of coming into a role where I'm also working with the women as well. So it's, 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 been, it's been challenging, it's been, it's been hard work, it's been dynamic and demanding, but yeah, it's been, it's been a great journey overall. So I think my, my, my biggest challenge, if I was to reflect on my career, would be probably like my earlier years, uh, when I started working at Birmingham, when I started working at the Football Association in England, that the nature of sports science then at that point with the women's game was, was really kind of small, that it didn't really exist. So in those positions, I was very much on my own. Even though I was working at Birmingham City, there weren't strong links to the men's game. So in that respect, I kind of went through the first good half of my career, probably more than half, um, feeling very isolated. However, since coming from, from England to America and being at US Soccer and being in the high performance department, I've had a really positive experience because I've, I've got that team now, I've got a good, great manager, I've got um, other sports scientists around me, it's, it's all encompassing, so the athletic, athletic trainers are there with us day to day. I think for young females looking to get into sports science in sport, I think the, the, there's definitely the opportunity there, I think like with anything, you have to start at the bottom and, and work your way up. So seeking those opportunities, but ultimately navigating those, those challenges and, and that journey to kind of keep progressing. The nature of sports science now, especially like in elite sport, is, is really challenging and it, it's really popular. A lot of people want to do it. So to, to kind of differentiate yourself from, from everyone else, you're going to have to put in, in the hard work. You're going to probably have to put yourself in environments that you don't necessarily want to be in um, and do things you don't necessarily want to do or, or do things in a different way. But really being open-minded to that and, and kind of how that can funnel your progression to, to kind of get to the end point and where you see yourself.